Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this evening's session, which I hope and I think you will, you will also expect to be a very lively session on an issue which is of vital concern to all of us. This is the 72nd year since our independence, but there are still various bonds which tie us down, and most notably, bonds of bias and prejudice from which we haven't been able to break free. But we have, on the other hand, been greatly strengthened by the fact that we are a democracy, and democracy demands questioning. Democracy demands accountability. Democracy demands transparency. So today, in our discussion, we will assess how far we have really progressed in our search for democracy. Because as I have written earlier, and all of you will agree, there is no such thing as a perfect democracy. Democracy is an objective, it is an evolutionary process, and this process is taking various forms across the world, and we can be proud that we are a leader in this process. We lead not only South Asia, not only Asia, but we lead the world in this direction, and there are many, many proofs of that in our institutional framework, in our political evolution, and in so many other ways that I need not bother you with at this point. The question really is not what would be asked, but what should be asked. And who decides? What should be asked? You, I, the dignitaries on the stage, and all the people of India. For this, dissent is necessary. Why is the debate then around popular opinions? What are the barriers that act as deterrent in transforming undercurrents and vital issues into boardroom conversations. There is a lot of ruin, a lot of debate over lack of employment. But is it lack of employment that is holding the country's progress back? Or is it the lack of qualitative opportunity and I think, of course, somebody said that even cooking pakoras is an opportunity and got a lot of abuse for that. But that, the essence of that is opportunity. Is there enough opportunity? I think we are moving beyond the phase of simply employment. And I know that when I joined the service, that employment by the government was considered the best thing that could possibly happen. Joining the elite Indian administrative service was the sum total of, of, an, of family's achievement. Not so anymore. Today, it is a question of qualitative opportunities. But are those qualitative opportunities emerging? What is the position? Why is there migration? Why is there even unrest? For a democracy to be participatory. And I mentioned to you, that a democracy means public participation. Vital, vital to all this is that citizens are informed. I mentioned transparency and accountability, and I may be forgiven for raising that issue because ever since I have been Chief Information Commissioner, I have been rather committed to this idea of transparency and accountability. And therefore, I will put it to the panel today that is, is there full transparency? Is there full, uh, is there full uh, accountability? And in this, I hope to address an issue which concerns us all. Is the media acting as it should act as a watchdog? Whose watchdog? Not the, house, not the watchdog of government, not the watchdog of any corporate house, but the watchdog of the public on the actions 
of those in authority. Is the media fulfilling that objective? Then, at the bottom of this all, is the fact that this, we have this huge, rich resource, our young people. Their diversity, their heterogeneity, but also their skills and their achievements. Varied backgrounds, educational, social and economic, and so different perceptions. Are we channeling this? Are we succeeding as a democracy? When I say we, I don't mean you or I or the people on the, on the stage. Are we as a people channeling this towards the construction of future India? And here, of course, all of you will agree with me, the media has a vital role to play. Are they fulfilling that vital role? I mentioned to you about the right to information law. Studies of the right to information law till the time that I actually left that commission, which was a long time ago now, it was 2010, showed that the youth were marginal participants in the whole campaign towards seeking information. Only 18% of those participating in the process of acquiring information came from college students. And so I've been going around various universities, and today I was in the Institute of Corporate Affairs, talk to people, please use this law, because it is your future that we are talking about. So without any further ado, may I, you've already been introduced, to uh, the speakers. We don't have Dr. Chandan Mitra with us yet, so we will have to wait for him. But may I ask, and rightly so when we think in terms of ladies first, may I ask Mrs. Navika Kumar, managing and editor, Times Now, to initiate this panel discussion. May I, when I'm initiating the panel discussion, may I warn that five minutes is the time given to each person? Because as I said, we are really looking forward to a lively discussion thereafter, after the presentation of the cases by our very distinguished panel. Thank you.